This project started three years ago when I planted these three Portulacaria Afra into this 10 gallon pot. I grew them in a large container in order to thicken up the trunks as quickly as possible, and then pruned them back in order to expose the trunks and start the bonsai process. Unbeknownst to me during this time, a small green lizard was having his own unique adventure. <laughs> Look at him go! And here's what we're left with after pruning. Compare how they look now to how they looked three years ago. And back to now. Choosing a good rock is the next step. And this one ought to do the trick. Let's measure it to be sure. Measure the tree. And then get geared up to do some drilling. Keeping the rock wet allows the drill bit to cool as I work. To remove the top portion of the stone, I followed a natural seam in the rock, drilling holes several inches apart, and then connected them. At this point, it was pretty easy to break apart. To hollow this out, I started by drilling holes all the way around the perimeter of the rock. After creating a channel around the outside, I started removing all the material from the center, and then grinding it smooth. I drilled six drain holes in the bottom of the pot. I'm cutting a little groove in between the drain holes in order to run wires that will anchor the trees in place. Once I got the inside all smoothed out, I cut another opening here in the front of the rock in order to create a little terraced effect. A little miniature planter to form a little two-level effect. And it gets its own drain hole. Time to put some trees in it. In order for this to fit, we're going to need to prune the roots. So I sterilized my garden shears, loosened up the root ball, and trimmed off all of the downward facing roots. These wires will be used to anchor the tree in place. See how they fit so nicely in the little grooves? I used drywall tape to cover up the drain holes which will keep the soil from spilling out the bottom of the pot. And I'm going to use Bonsai Jack's Gritty Mix for the soil. I'm laying down several handfuls of this slow-release succulent food made by a company called Dynamite. And after getting the three trees situated in the opening, I bent the wires around the roots in order to anchor them in place. After adding a little more Bonsai soil, the next step is to add some ground cover. So, we're going to move this party indoors into my studio. 